bow down our head and let's pray. God bless, Mom. Okay. So, I am Hani Balala, your English teacher, and ma I am happy to serve you. So, is anyone absent today? No, Mom. Uh, okay. So, do we have any assignment? None. Uh, okay. So, please allow me to introduce to you our rules during the class. Okay? Yes, Mom. Please can you read? Number one. Be on time. Listen attentively. Number three, be physically and mentally present. Number four, be a responsible student. Number five, wear clothes appropriately. Number six, speak up. Number seven, no eating during the class. Number eight, mute your microphone when you're not answering. Number nine, be respectful. Number five, be prepared. Okay, class. Okay, class. Before we dive into our lesson for today, let's have the recap first about what was our previous discussion. One of you can tell me what was all about our class discussion. Okay, so Myla. Our last discussion month was all about the four months and in four months. Yes, mom. Okay, wow, that is good to hear that. So let's move on to that. So for today's lesson, I am going to talk about um, uh, comparing and contrasting the contents of the materials used with outside sources of information in, um, in terms of accessibility and effectiveness. So who can define what compare and contrast means? Yes, ma'am. Compare is something that you tell how things are alike, while contrast is something that you tell how things are different. Through them, we can explain how the two subjects are similar to different. Or different. Okay, yes, exactly. Why, why is this an important concept? Um, is it important for us, uh, most especially to the students, to be able to compare and contrast in the event? Because it's vivid and clear. Really? So this one, what is more accessible for your stage? Enchanted Kingdom or Disneyland? Anyone? Okay, so why not? Enchanted Kingdom. Can we stand? 
about conquering and constructing the military to put us to be city as a stand that is what we need to evaluate by asking what we understand from it. Not yet, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it is very essential skill to be developed because it improves comprehension by highlighting important details, making abstract ideas more con con concrete, and reducing the confusion between related concepts. Therefore, it is very us useful in our day-to-day -day activities because it organizes and remembers information, highlights subtle. Differences between objects or concepts and in, and in, in, in turn help us make better decisions in life. Yes, very good. Comparing to shots is a decision skill to be developed by the lawyers. Because it needs to be ability to sort and classify, helps to them to think about and focus on important details. Clarify differences between related objects
Contrasting means pointing, pointing out their differences or where they diverge from one another. So the answer is? Constru contrasting. Okay, very good. How about the number four? Anyone? Can you hide it? Yes, ma'am. It explains yes, that's great. Yes, ma'am. The answer, the answer is ex explain. Okay, very good. How about uh, number five? Okay, so hi, la. Frame diagrams of our paper the answer. That is we have of two or three overlapping circles to visualize the remaining between two points. Okay, very good. So, every, uh, Yes, ma'am. Knowledge gained through comparing and contrasting help us students understand how to organize information, think more clearly, and express ideas more effectively in our own writing. Okay, wow, it's a good point, Miss Muhali. Thank you so much, and how would you feel about comparing and contrasting help with you to be in class? We echo Yes, ma'am. Compare and construct will not only help me as a student in reading, but also in every part of every day life. It's helped me to organize and remember information. Yes, that is. And that's it. So, very good, Miss Grammar. So, what tools can they use to organize thinking? Trust information, they can make 
inferences, and draw conclusions about topics. Comparing and contrasting information from multiple sources allows students to get a more comprehensive view of topics. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Muhali. And lastly, can I somebody to answer? Uh, why would someone do a comparison and contrast? Anyone from the class who can answer? Okay, Miss Rammer. Yes, ma'am. The purpose of, of conducting the comparisons and contrast is not the low use, but rather than the eliminate subtle, subtle difference or unexpected similarity. Okay, thank you. Uh, congratulations, students, for giving the correct answers. And I am so glad that you listen and learn a lot from our and uh, from my discussion, brother. So today we are going to we will be having a quiz. Um, do you excited, class? Yes, yes. yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for teaching us today. God bless you.